I recently went to the craft and quilt show here in Brisbane and wow, I got so many cute fabrics and I'm so excited to show you. First off is this Tula Pink quilting cotton, which I believe is from her Tiny Beasts collection. It's got this lovely reindeer and eclectic colors. I can't remember how much it cost me. I think it was $8, but it is so pretty. I have a patchwork blouse idea in mind that I would love to make with this fabric. On a similar note, I picked up this raccoon trash panda print also by Tula Pink, and I think it is literally the cutest thing ever. I just ordered some more half meter sections to make into that blouse that I was talking about. So I will probably end up using these in some paper piecing. I got some kit for that. You'll see that in a second. But there were so many lovely stalls and I didn't film because I'm still a little bit chicken to film in person in big crowds and things like that. So unfortunately I didn't get any footage of what everything looked like, but it was amazing. I also picked up these, I want to say Robert Kaufman. Oh, this is from Tilda's World, the Bloomsville collection in flower tangle green. This, I got this before I picked up the Tula Pink fabric. I think a patchwork project out of these fabrics would be gorgeous. I'm thinking a top, maybe even pants, who knows? I've seen a couple of patchwork pants around. Gorgeous, love them. I also got that same print in a different colorway. This one, if I can find the name. Oh, these are also Atilda's quilt collection from Bloomsville and it's Flower Tangle Blue. Along that same uh, vein, I got a pack. I believe this one was $30 for the stack of quilting cottons again. And again, with this theme of Patrick pants, which would be literally the cutest thing ever or paper piecing into hexagons. I'll show you a little bit of each fabric as I open it. These are really good quality fabrics. I wasn't actually planning on buying anything when I went to look at the Craft and Quilt show. And then I went and wow, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. I am a little bit nervous to cut into them, to be honest, but I do want to use them. I don't want to have them just in my stash collecting dust because they deserve to see the world. Uh, yes, on my little paper piecing patchwork kick, I picked up these little 42 square, there's a name for these, all the quilting people are gonna be screaming at me. Mini charms, two and a half inch squares that are just like a stack of different fabrics. And I got two of them, one was $12, one was 13. These are Moda fabrics and it's the Zinnia colorway by April Rosenthal of Prairie Gasp Patterns who's the designer. And then this one was the Love Lily collection, uh, also by April Rosenthal from Prairie Grass Patterns. And these are literally the cutest. And it means I don't have to cut anything out because the thing that's really held me back from quilting, one is that quilts are massive, but also I would love to do smaller work, but I cannot cut accurately. So I got a pre-cut pack for this reason. The last thing I got were the things I was told I needed to do paper piecing. Again, very impulse decision. I got iron-on English paper piecing templates and I got two packs of them. And actually in here is a third little charm, mini charm stack. This is the Moda Fabrics Wild Meadow by Sweetfire Road. And I apologize if I'm saying this in the wrong order. I am not a quilter, although I would probably get into that too. It was a lovely show all very good quality fabrics. I hopefully will use them. Uh, my stash is getting pretty big. I think that's gonna be a little break on buying fabrics at this point, but I couldn't, I couldn't leave these behind. I think if I could make quilted pants, my goodness, my mind would literally explode. I think I would die of happiness. <laughs> so we'll see what these turn into. I also wanted to quickly shout out a little small business that I purchased a lot of these fabrics from. Kayla's Patch, which is a quilting fabric store, as well as fashion fabrics, haberdashery, patterns, and classes in Ipswich. 
that's their business card. I wouldn't focus. There you go. They were absolutely lovely. They answered all of my questions and I really enjoyed talking to them. I am definitely gonna attend some of their classes. They looked super interesting. They have like a whole year schedule. But yeah, that was one of the booths that I stayed at and really enjoyed. If you liked this video, if you would like to see what these projects become and if I eventually do get to them, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I try to upload every month and I will see you in the next one.